as me. Look, no. Azmi doesn't like you. Azmi, come here. It was Azmi Biscuit's birthday yesterday. She was 12 years old. Come here. Oh, and she doesn't look a day over kitten, do you? No. Oh, you're so beautiful. That's it. Sit on all the clothes. There we go. You're so cute. Anyways, video, video, video. Hello to the YouTubes. Oh, what's that? I was going to give you your free jazz hands, but that one's a bit dirty or cut or something. You don't want that one, do you? I've just had a bath as well. Oh, well, never mind. Anyway. Right, so this is what I bought over the last few days. I was quite hungover all this weekend. That's one why I haven't done a video, and two why... I spent lots more money. No, not lots more. Some more money. First of all, I'll do the clothes and I will get off as me. I will just show you the rest of the clothes that I bought from that £30 lot of um, vintage clothes. So this, it's a hideous skirt, sorry, dress and belt and jacket. Now this is from Evans, the outsize company, and I thought Evans was like started in the 80s or something. But apparently it started in the 1930s. And so this is an Evans dress from, I think, the 50s, judging by the style. And you want to see the label? It's very faded because obviously it is... Yeah, you can't really see that, can you? No. Oh, it says Evos garment, exclusive to Evans. The outside stores. So, again, this will cost me approximately a pound. Oh, it smells lovely though, because we had to washing everything to it, because it was stinking. But it is actually quite nice now, apart from the colour. But I'm going to try and get like 20 odd pound. It's a nice mother of the bride kind of suit. And then I've got. Oh, I'll just drop it. Uh, no. Um. This is like a dress. It's not like a dress, it is a dress. This again, it's probably 1940s or 50s. Susan Hart, London W1. Like, does London W1 is, yeah, anyway. Um, there are some faults with it, apart from you. Um, but there's like some holes and things. But. I might just sell it as like a say or, say, uh, spare or repair kind of project for someone. You know, there's some fashion students out there that are good at fixing these things. This is another one. Remember, these all cost me about 50 pence a pound. So this is like a little sort of play suit. 1940s, 50s play suit. So this is pr pretty good actually. Really nice condition. And I'm hoping to get about 15, 20 pound for that. I've got an American varsity style cardigan, which has a great student council badge on it. Mm, we use really nice washing powder. I might keep this one or sell it for about £20, depending on how I feel. We've got another American thing. Got this wool, yellow wool cheerleader. Jumper, this is from 1983. I don't know what the hell kind of animal that is, but there we are. Uh, I'm trying to get about 20, 30 pound on that one. I've got a couple of 1940s probably swimsuits. You can imagine the, um, you know, beauty contests at Butlins and stuff, Be you know, the ladies wearing these and the men doing their knobbly knee contests. They've got like really weird, like look at that, like sieves to put your boobs in. Yeah, won't quite fit me, never mind. Again, looking to get about 20, 25 pound on that one. And then I've got another one in purple as well. Someone has done some weird stuff with a crotch, which I might just remove that because, yeah. But anyway, so 20, 25 on that one. Any more clothing? Yes, from Bernardo's 199 shop. There's this brown. 
Yeager yeah, jumper dress, but it is silk and cashmere blend, so hoping to get about £20 on that. I've got for one ninety nine a cashmere and silk uh, pashmina, which again might be coming to me to Morocco, and then I'll sell it on. It, it is quite bobbled, but that's okay. I can debobble that. That's fine. I got some tentatine mints, not the controller. That's mine. But in one shop. Uh, in the 199 Bernardo shop, they sell media products, 99 pence each or four for a pound. So I bought this for myself, a vintage copy of uh, Slaughterhouse Five by Kurt Vonnegut. Um, so that might come on holiday to me, for me, with me. That might be my jolly holiday reading. I say jolly because you can't have slaughter without laughter. That's what they say. So that's for me. And then I bought two more books for me. So, a friend of the, mine recommended these to me. So this is The Unbearable Lightness of Being in Aberystwyth and Last Tango in Aberystwyth. So they're kind of like uh, comedy, murder, mystery type spooky things that happen in Aberystwyth. Like film noir in a book. So uh, look forward to reading them. And then because you had to get a fourth thing, I got, this isn't for me, this is to sell. This is a Catherine Cookson collection bleu. DVD. They look awful. He's probably going to die in it. Um, but it was still sealed, so I've put it on eBay for £15, including postage. Um, if I get that, that would be quite cool, and it pays for all the lovely things that I want to keep for myself. Hooray! Uh, again, from the 199 shop, I bought a pair of biker boots. These are size 8 ones should they're in decent nick apart from you can tell that someone's you know like the kickstart thing that you know they've been doing that a lot on their bike but other than that they're pretty decent just need a bit of a clean up at the bottoms but 199 should hopefully turn that into 20 25 poundlings or you can wear them as gloves but you can't text with them Hey, oh, and I also bought this yeah, little lady, oh, for one ninety nine. Um, I mean to sell, obviously, because what am I gonna do with toys? Uh, I think she's from the sixties. She looks handmade, but very, very well handmade. She also reminds me of a cartoon character that I remember seeing, but I have no idea where it's from. And I think it was like hand drawn and watercolor and stuff. Really old cartoon, and she looks really familiar. I think she might be from that. But I really don't know. Anyways, I thought she was absolutely adorable. And with the 199 Bernardo shop, it's kind of like the the last stop, really. If things don't get bought there, then they get ripped up to shreds for the ragman. And I think that would be really sad. See? Really sad. Ooh. So anyway, 1960s, handmade, lovely condition and everything. I'm going to try and sell her on and see if we can get her a good home. Would you like to adopt this strange baby? No, okay. Fine. Um, and then my last purchase was a £45 purchase. Which I did probably spend a little bit too much on. But hey ho, what can you do? First part of this purchase was two vintage... Um, army camouflage things. One is a British one and one is a US Army one. Annoyingly someone's gone and put that they tried to do, make their own clothing label in Bridgend and so they got like old clothes and they put their logo on it and they thought that was cool. So they've got that which I suppose isn't the worst thing in the world but oh why do you have to put 69 on things? Like that's so naff. It's so like suicide girls, like emo crap. Anyway, <sighs> I can't get it off, so I'll just sell them as they are. So I'll try and get. If they had, if they didn't have the logos on, I could probably get about thirty quid each for them. 
because they are vintage and they're a really good make of them as well but because they've got that crap on it I'll just try for £15 each um, I did find a manufacturer's label I think it's on the American one where it's actually pretty good I'll try and find that for you now so as you know um, made in the USA yada 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 doesn't say the make no I can't find it Anyways, there we are, £15 each, so, or £10, £15 each, so I suppose that's the most of my 45 quid back already, and then I bought a load of jewellery, and bits and bobs, ladies bits and bobs, so this is all the stuff that I've listed so far, and I, that is so just gonna, like, oh, fall over, tell you what, you come here, come here, come here. Lots of brooches. Oh, what pretty is. And then these three are things that I think might be worth a little bit. So I've listed all the ones at the bottom. You're not going to go back in the same place, are you? Okay. So I've listed all the ones at the bottom. Things of interest. Okay. Stratton, if you ever see any compacts. This is a queen scalloped edge compact. Stratton, there you go, they're, they're a nice brand. Um, what else was there? This is a, this is from, oh, it's not Corvo, Cor Coro, American, porcelain, that's a few quid on there. Um, Queenie, I didn't think would be worth anything, but they've been going for £25, which is just mad, madness. Uh, these are Russian. Basically like papier-mâché with like plastic over the top of it, but they've been selling okay. Um, little bee, which is kind of cute. Little bee. Um, do -do -do. Some uh, 925 stamped on the back, filigree silver. Uh, what else is of interest? Right, the three that I think might be worth something, possibly, just because that's a cameo. And on the back it says made in France. That doesn't mean it's Limoges or Limoges or whatever you want to pronounce it. But, you know, look into that one. This does have some stones missing. But it is very early 20th century Czechoslovakian. Um, by, possibly by Niger? Something. And then this one, someone's got listed on eBay. Exactly the same for £140 and he's saying it's hole marked and I can't see a hole mark and I think the person selling it is lying but then I found another one exactly the same on another website and they were also selling it for £140 so I ordered a gold testing kit um, because they're saying that it's 9 karat gold with sapphires for eyes so I'm going to check on that um, if it does turn out to be 9 karat gold sapphire eyes I'm not going to sell it for £140 um, I'm going to probably just try for about £80 because I don't think it's actually worth £140. Cat, what are you doing now? Anyway, and then... With that, I also got a bunch of broken stuff. Yay. And some just plain old costume jewellery. Um, the funny thing is, this necklace I actually sold to the person and... Now I've brought it back apparently as part of this lot which is a bit weird. Um, I've got a beaded bag which is broken but that's quite a cool clasp so I could sell that as spares and repairs and someone can try and fix it or I could try and fix it. Depends if I can be bothered. Um, other things of note would be what's called, I think it's called a jewelette. It's basically a brooch bottom and then these two bits clip into the brooch bottom to make a brooch and then you can separate them out and I think you use them as like collar pins and stuff like that um, unfortunately I can't sell that one it's a lovely piece but I can't sell it because it's got some stones missing and then I've got little dangly things which I think is a pomade that you put like perfume in 
wooden stuff which has got scratches and then a bunch of costume jewellery necklaces that aren't really worth anything but I'm just going to sell all of that as a lot and see what I get for them um, I think that is it for today I have made a list of all the things I wanted to do today shall I show you oh no I seem to have lost the list oh how me have you eaten my list yeah, the list is gone, I'm afraid. But anyway, I'm going to go and watch the Celtic Traders and there's um, a Zaheer and Bex video that I'm going to watch now. And then um, Back to the Future. Woo! Okay, so you can have the clean jazz hand today. Whee! And I will say a bye-bye now. A bye-bye.